All right, let's now solve this linear system, which we a priori know doesn't have a solution. Now, how do we know this? Well, as we discussed in previous lessons, the column space of this matrix has the property that the middle entry is the average of the other two. In other words, the column space has the form A, B, and in the middle, A plus B over 2. So please review those videos if you don't remember this. So this is the column space. In English, the middle entry is the average of the other two. But the vector on the right-hand side does not have this property. It is therefore not in the column space of this matrix, and therefore there are no solutions. Well, this is the sort of relationship that you can notice with a lot of experience, and only if you're lucky enough that the system is simple enough. But in general, you won't be so lucky, so you will have to use Gaussian elimination. So let's once again pretend that we don't see this and try to figure out how Gaussian elimination reveals to us the situations in which the system doesn't have a solution. Now, in the previous lesson, we dealt with a very similar system where we had a 15 instead of a 16, and there was a solution. So I will go through the steps of Gaussian elimination relatively quickly because you can review the previous video if you want to really understand where the numbers that I'm writing down are coming from. So let's see what happens. So the first operation is subtracting four of the first row from the second, resulting in zero, minus three, and minus six. And a minus three on the right hand side. So far so good. Nothing foreboding about the system yet. So let's see what happens after the next step. Subtracting seven of the first row from the third, we get seven he zero here, minus six here, minus 12 here, and minus five, six, minus 21, minus five in this entry. So far, nothing bad has happened. So let's proceed. You can make sure that all of the relationships that were in the system to begin with are still in there. Of course, they will be. That's the property of Gaussian elimination. So let's do what we did before, which is dividing the second row by negative three. So that gives us one, two, and one here. One, two, and one on the right-hand side. Still, so far, so good. Here comes the next step, adding six of the second row to the third. Gives us nothing here, zero here, and one here. And now we have a signal that the system doesn't have any solutions. The system that we have on the board now does not have any solutions. Let's see that from two points of view. First of view, from the point of view of individual equations. The first one reads x plus 2y plus 3z equals 3. That's all good. The second one reads y plus 2z equals 1. That's pretty good. The last one reads 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals 1, which of course is impossible because 0x plus 0y plus 0z always equals 0. So when you have zeros, all zeros in a row on the left-hand side and a non-zero entry in the corresponding row on the right-hand side, at that point you can stop because you know that the system doesn't have any solutions. Let's come to the same conclusion from the point of view of column spaces. Now, we cannot use the argument that the column space doesn't change from one step to the next because Gaussian elimination does alter the column space. So this is no longer the column space of the matrix that we have on the board. Indeed, two is not the average of three and zero, and zero is not the average of one and zero and so forth. So the column space, unlike the null space, is not preserved by Gaussian elimination. However, what is preserved is the relationship between, or the potential relationship between the right-hand side and the columns of the matrix. So we're continuing to solve the decomposition problem. It's just that right now we're solving this modified decomposition problem. 
And it's very clear that in this modified decomposition problem, the right-hand side is not in the column space of this matrix because the column space of this matrix is, I'm, I'm not going to worry about the first two entries, but the last entry is clearly zero. There is no way to use linear combinations of these three columns and not get zero in the last entry because these columns all have zeros in the last entry. And it's clear that by virtue of having a one here, this current right-hand side is not in the column space of this matrix. And therefore this linear system, as well as the original one, doesn't have any solutions. So that's how Gaussian elimination helps us, enables us to deal with situations and linear systems in which there are no solutions.